are just about ready. Cameron Dicker has the honors, and we are underway here at SoFi. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Then we see the Bills offense take the field here at quarterback Josh Allen. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark, could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Play action here on the first play from scrimmage. They want to see how the linebackers are going to react. Are they looking to stop the run? Or are they going to sit back in coverage? A really nice job there of going in attack mode early, and they pick up a quick first down. A run there with Cook on first down, but it won't net him much, maybe a yard. Second down coming up. From the 42-yard line, here's second and nine. From the gun, it's Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Allen now looks to throw. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. Then he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. It just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Allen. Uh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Oh, my. You know that that's one they hold on to have back. I mean, he did everything right. Got the linebackers commit on the play action. He just flat out missed. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. From the left hash, just a 32-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills' opening drive yields three. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. They'll be let out by a fifth-round pick in the 2019 draft out of North Dakota State. It's Easton Stick. You want to talk about a driven player partner. This guy is absolutely that person. He doesn't just have goals in this game. He wants to be remembered among the best to play the position, and he treats every game as an audition for that. It's a lofty goal to set for yourself, but we've seen his drive lead to some impressive games from him. Perhaps another one is in store today. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, 
get your head around, locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Now the seven-year veteran, Austin Eckler, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle, and that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. Stick back to pass. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. Their opening drive here is going to result in a punt. They got seven yards there, but not enough. A fourth down, so the Chargers trot out J.K. Scott. Deontay Hardy back deep. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Throwing on first down is Allen. Now a diving effort right sideline. He's got it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. He may go back to the home and have a little discussion with his passer. You know, maybe you don't have to leave me quite that much. <laughs> but on that play, bailed him out in a big way, didn't he? He did indeed. Hey, at least he gets to put it on the highlight reel. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Here's second and ten. Option play. Here's Cook. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That second down play nets a minus four. Nobody picked up the blitz. There's your result. And you know how we see a lot of the guys doing that, that motion about eating all the time after big plays? How about that defensive front did eating up the blockers on the offensive side and allowed their tacklers to roam free, didn't they? It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt, they're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. Now stick. Taken down. Gregory Russo showing his strength and quickness there. A loss of four. Well, it was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. On the screen, this is Eckler. Yeah, that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, 
little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here, just a little slow. And, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it, any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going through, whether they're seeing different defenses, they're going to have to figure it out as this game moves on. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and one. To the air, Allen. A quick throw there is incomplete. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They'll run it. Here's Cook. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. They run again on first down. Cook. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. Second down in a yard. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. It's been tough sledding on the ground, but after that first down pickup, they've got to gain a little bit more confidence and feel good about starting a new set of downs trying to move the ball. On first down, Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Quentin Morris from 21 yards away as his guys are able to extend their lead. Their first passing touchdown of the ball game, and they go to the big tight end in those sure hands, and he provides the score. Certainly looked like they were focused on taking away other weapons. And he certainly made them regret that because he found the soft spot, ended up taking it to the end zone. Nice throw, too, to complete the play. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead grows to 10 0. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. Pass hauled in by Johnston. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Here's Stick looking to throw. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, 
He's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Stick looks to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Stick looks to throw it again. A little short pass. This is Everett. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. A yard all they need, but it's third down. They'll set up a throw. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. Some mistakes already in the first quarter. If he holds on to that one, first down. Yeah, and I guarantee you that at least one defensive back out there has reminded him of that fact, trying to get into his head and hoping that'll affect him the rest of the game. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. Now Allen. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. The intended target there was Gabriel Davis, and that'll bring up second down. To throw, it's Allen. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Allen to throw it. That is caught, and he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A pretty sizable deficit here in the first quarter. This defense uh, probably need to get off the field in those situations on third down. And you and I both know in this huddle before that last third down play, that's exactly what they talked about. Let's make a play. Let's get off the field. Let's reverse the momentum. Instead, they got hit with another first down, almost back to the drawing board. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rally to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Ten-nothing the score after one on EA Sports. Bills with a football as we start quarter number two. The Bills on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. Throwing now is Allen. Ah, he had a man open. 
open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger offense making their way back out there. The results for them so far, not that great. Well, not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet. You're trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? Here's a second and three now from the 33. They're going to go play action now with Stick. And he'll go right back to Allen. That's complete. And Allen's going to have a Chargers first down as the tackle going to be made up at the 37. Four yards on the pickup. Good enough to extend the drive. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A shotgun throw for Stick. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Johnston. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Stick to throw once more. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. Facing second and short, that gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. But I think he said to himself, why don't I just handle this one? Get all the yards you needed and then some. And made that snap a huge success. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. He'll look to throw. His throw incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Up the middle with Eckler. Muster a couple down to about the 27. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. He'll drop to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Cameron Dicker on now to try the field goal. This from 44 yards out, left hash. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So the third drives the charm. They are on the board, albeit with just a field goal. Yeah, three points from three drives. That's not going to win you a whole lot of football games. Hopefully the fact they were able to move the ball a little bit can wake up their offense. Dicker now as he'll send this one away. Now Hardy on the return. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. 
And now out come the Bills. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Kenneth Murray came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. And there they bring pressure from the inside and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And on this play, <laughs> someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home. Rolling to his left. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Allen going to throw. And that will be incomplete. Had to pass there, third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return. Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker try on the field. <laughs> they want that ball to end there. Yeah, they'll be going for six. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Here's Stick on first and 10. A little short pass. This is Everett. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Off play action. It's Stick. He gets it to Johnston. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. Running on first down, Eckler. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. It's Eckler again. And he gets halfway home from the ten to the five on a pickup of five. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. The offense on third down, just one for five to this point. This will be third and five. Stick back to pass. Forced out to his, and he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Easton Stick, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes? Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown.
10 apiece as the kick's away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Caught right side. Davis. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. one out closer to midfield across the 45. Second catch for him today and it'll wind up a first down. Allen now looks to throw. The left side caught by Diggs. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 14 yards that time for number 14. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Allen to throw once more. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Handoff comes to Cook. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Tackle made there by the safety, Derwin James. Second and 10, we're all knotted up at 10, but it appears that may change soon. Only question is, will they have to settle for three? And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. All tied up at 10, two minutes left in the first half. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. To the air, Allen. Setting up the screen for Cook. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. Made his first, this now from 42 yards out. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills have taken the lead. 
So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there, 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Chargers. They came out not so hot. The first quarter, they were sputtering a little bit, but they seem to have stayed the course and really righted the ship here in the second. Well, let's face it, all the preparation that goes into getting ready for a game, all the scouting reports, the practice, the repetition, sometimes you get a little bit of a lull to start things off. Maybe you get a little flat, but if you put in that time, you put in that effort, it can come back to you, and that's what we're seeing so far. Now can they keep that momentum going? Now the Chargers hustling, try to get up and get set. They'll throw on second down and stick. A quick throw there is incomplete. Quentin Johnston, the intended receiver on the play, and it's third and short. Now stick. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. First and 10, stick. He's got Allen. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it'll be second down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Stick looks to throw it again. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Stick looking to throw on first and 10. That is incomplete. I know we're just in the second quarter and there's a ways to go in this game, but that's a second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Stick looks to throw. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Here's Stick looking to throw. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. 
Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios and this EA Sports halftime report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. All right, coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Chargers going to get the football first here in the second half, and they trail as we get back underway. And we will not see a return to start the half, as this will be a touchback. The Chargers getting ready to go here to start this third quarter. So out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in at the half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? On second and ten, it's Stick. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Ed Oliver, that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they've wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots, and right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll try the right side with Eckler. And he's got some space here. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. The result, only four yards there on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. Ike's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Eckler now between the tackles. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, you talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. Down at the 25. Not a big run, not an explosive run, but they've held the ball for plenty of plays on this drive. They're just trying to impose their will on the defense right now.
from the 25 here second down at seven here's the option and he's free going down the left side it's a foot race and he's in for a charger touchdown easton stick with his second touchdown of the afternoon and the chargers have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half well, Charles, he's already proven that he's not afraid to tuck that football down on the option, and he's into the end zone for the second time in the game. And that's exactly what you need from your quarterback, the ability to run the ball fearlessly. And, in fact, many quarterbacks will tell you running the football doesn't scare them. Standing in the pocket and taking blindside hits, that's what terrifies them. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. Now Hardy on the return. Fielded just outside the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Allen to throw it. That is caught and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. They run the counter with Cook. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Second and 10. They'll give to Cook on the read option, and he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. The Chargers trot out their dime package, expecting a throw on third down. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen, pass taken in by his big tight end. He's in the space past the 25. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. A big play that time on the catch and run. 37 yards. No surprise he was targeted on that play because you and I both know quarterbacks like guys who can catch the ball. But they actually expect that. They love the guys who do something with it after the catch. Yeah, impressive making him miss on that tackle attempt. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Play action, now it's Allen. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. 
Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. On play action, Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Gabriel Davis, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills have retaken a third-quarter lead. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And that one gives him a three-point lead. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Gabriel Davis. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So the Chargers offense back out and ready to go. They had gotten the lead with the opening drive touchdown in the third quarter. Now they relinquish that lead back. Could be in for an interesting second half. It certainly appears that way, doesn't it? Almost turning into one of those pendulum games, right? Where it swings back and forth. And who's going to make the play that changes that? That maybe it puts it on one side and keeps it there. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. But well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those. But the coverage has been excellent thus far. And it was again on the last play. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Stick back to pass. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Dorian Williams coming in hard there on the blitz. And he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. At that time, finally a measure of revenge as they get him down behind the line. It almost felt like relief, didn't it? Because with the success he's had throughout this game, you'd almost expect him to get free and pick up 10 to 15 every time he takes off. Not in that case, that has to feel good for the defense. And down he'll go at the 25. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Here's J.K. Scott now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Here's Hardy set to return. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on a six-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them, they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Well, that certainly has to feel good. That's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. And he's got this down to the 35. 18 more yards there and another first down. Now they, have, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Here's Allen. And he will find his man on the outside. And all the way inside the 
15 before they drop him. A good pick up there, 21 yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. 44 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. This is a second and four. Ball at the nine. They run it again with Cook. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. Well, they went with a fullback dive that time. And Brandon, when I was a kid, the fullback carried the ball equally as much as the, the running back, then known as the halfback. Nowadays, the fullback's job is to block. Put him out in front, let him clear a path. They still have a couple more chances here from the one. And now they'll throw with Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Gabriel Davis with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And they are able to add on to their advantage. An out route there for the score, a quick out route there for the score. Yeah, you're not really surveying the defense on this one. You're just counting on timing, making this play happen. One, two, balls out of his hands, knows where he's going, just puts it to the outside. Touchdown. Bass on for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Gabriel Davis. to the touchdown bass to kick it away and this take it in at the goal line running room at the 50 look out he will score touchdown chargers i know a lot of special teams coaches they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do and others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. The extra point try now from Dicker. And the lead is down to a field goal now. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most, exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to the end zone for six points. So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. 
Here comes Josh Allen and the Bills offense back onto the field. He really continues to pick apart this defense. Last drive, perfect, and it culminated in his third touchdown pass. As long as we've been doing this, how many times has a player in this type of a zone described the game as really slowed down? Yep. So right now, instead of warp speed, it's snails just pace. Ball, snails pace for him, and he can do whatever he wants with it. He has all the time in the world to throw the ball, and his offensive line has been giving him that. Second and nine. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And he's going to have a Bills first down as he'll take this up to about the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Again, it's Cook. And he'll get this up to about the 40. 68 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Four yards the pickup, first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my own coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he's securing it. The Bills on third down. Not quite 50%. Four for nine. This will be third and six. Throwing now is Allen. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A gain of 39 that time. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense, but on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. I absolutely love that play call there. They just came off of a big play. They've got momentum in their direction, and they come back and take the shot at the end zone, just unable to complete it by love and their aggressiveness. And you feel like the defense, a sigh of relief, could have been back-to-back -back really big plays. On second down, Cook. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. James Cook, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Bills get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. The extra point by Bass, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead.
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Chargers offense back onto the field. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. They're going to go play action now with Stick. Allen's got it complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. A handoff, it's Eckler. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. As soon as he got handed the football, he looked up and down he went. And just think about what goes into a running play for the back because he's thinking about getting the football, where's my gap, getting to the proper hole, reading the blocking. He had no time to do any of it. Didn't matter how great a player he was, all he could do there, hold on to the football. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while well, he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. A shotgun throw for Stick. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. 18 big yards on that one and a charger first. And this is a rarity in the NFL. 100-yard game on the ground for a quarterback. Even as those passers get more athletic and mobile, we only see about five of these a season. It takes a special set of circumstances for it to happen. And of course, a special player. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 42-yard line. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Out left, he's got it to Everett. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. Now a give running left is Eckler. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Okay, second and one, you get nothing. What now on third and one? Sorry about that. I was so excited I jumped in on you. This is almost like practice to me. Line it up and do it again. You didn't get it right the first time. Just get right back on the ball and go. It doesn't matter that they know you're coming. You ought to be able to pick up this short yardage. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Once more, here's Eckler, and he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired out there. They've been out in the field for a long time, and that last run, they just cut right through them. So from the 26-yard line, here's second and four. They'll drop to throw, and his throw's going to be incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. Now Stick. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. You want to put together a long drive? You've got to be able to convert on third down, and they've done exactly that on this one. 
Sure enough, came up with another conversion right there. Off play action, it's Stick. And that's complete to the right side, it's Allen. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. And just three yards on the catch there, he couldn't get away. And it's second down. On the give, this is Eckler. He will push his way down to about the 14. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. They'll come up facing third and five. They'll look to throw here. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Gregory Russo able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. So unable to convert for the touchdown inside the red zone, but they do come away with three. Yeah, it's 32 yard. That's essentially an extra point nowadays, right? Because it's 33 as a general rule for these guys. So it should be a simple kick. But you know what's really strange nowadays? When they miss an extra point, I think they carry that with them longer than missing a field goal because an extra point's supposed to be automatic. Absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're substantially shorter than a PAT, it, would, it just has a different feel, doesn't a it? A different feel, a different vibe. That's what I get from all the kickers I talk to. They always say, if I miss an extra point, that's the one that bothers me more. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach up and the coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive, and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. One play has them up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. To throw, it's Allen. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move all over the place to try and find good matchups, and they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Allen going to fire quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. fake work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete and he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 35 that good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third now that's a big pickup right there and so often we focus on how the quarterbacks faking up play action how about everyone being in on the deal and picking it up second third levels you can see them trying to recover they bit worked out offensively Here's Allen on first and 10. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long 
and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. He's got his target. That's complete. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Cook up the gut. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. The veteran who spent last season in Denver, it's Latavius Murray. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. sessions before you end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones it's just the nature of coaches but I know sitting in that room when you've had a big game the night that they've had you don't want to hear that you just want to focus on the good stuff the kick by Bass is good and the Bills will add on to their lead so that's a big one. Obviously, Charles makes it a two-score game, his third field goal of the game, able to knock it through. Yeah, not exactly free and clear yet, but as a defense, you get to play a little bit looser, don't you? Because you do now have a little bit of a margin of error, don't you? So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So the Chargers now down by 10, exactly one minute remaining. They'll need a score here and also likely an onside kick recovery. But first things first, first and 10. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Well, if you're a fan of offensive football, this game is for you because this one's been much more like a tennis match than a football game. Back and forth, back and forth. And there's another example right there of another big play in the passing game. This is first and 10. Stick. Here comes second down. Now stick. They'll find Everett there, complete. 
And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 21. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Stick looks to throw it again. And that's going to be incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. They'll try again here, second and ten. Stick looks to throw. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sack. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory.